everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I look like this. I currently just dyed my hair and I wanted to start this reading vlog while I was waiting for my hair to like process. So I'm gonna be doing a weekly reading vlog. This is the Animal Crossing Readathon. Um, it's hosted by a couple different people. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see who it's hosted by. And it's because Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out March 20th and this readathon goes from the 8th to the 20th. It's actually the 11th right now. I'm starting a couple days late just because I have been working, so I haven't really been able to start the readathon. I got all of my bullet journal, journal spreads done for the readathon and my March spreads. So I'm gonna show you guys what they look like and then show you guys the books that I'm going to read. And this is just going to be my Animal Crossing readathon reading vlog. Haven't done a reading vlog in a while now. And I have really missed it. Reading vlogs give me a lot of, gives me a lot more, I guess, inspiration to read a little bit more because I have been kind of in a reading slump and it sucks. So I'm trying to read a little bit more. So I'm gonna switch the camera over real fast and show you guys my spreads. And then I'm gonna show you guys the books that I'm going to read for the readathon. My bullet journal is getting so full, guys. I am like so happy to see it getting fuller. So here is my March spreads. So I got a Animal Crossing sticker book off of Amazon and I used a bunch of stuff from that Animal Crossing sticker book for these spreads. So yeah, I cut out this tree that was in it, glued it in here, and then the rest are just stickers. And then I'm coloring in every single day that I read. And then this is my books read in March spread. I just kind of took stickers of all of my favorite villagers and I put them around the sides. And then I took some of this path stickering and I put it at the bottom right here. Then I have my pages read. So every single day I'll color in how many pages I read and then write down on this side which one I read. And I just put a bunch of different random stickers in here. And then this is my Animal Crossing readathon spread. And I actually really, really like the way that it came out. I literally just copied what their little logo looked like on their Twitter. So I just cut this out from the sticker book and then I just attached readathon at the bottom right here. So here are all the prompts. We got Rossetti, KK Slider, The Able Sisters, Tom Nook, Animal Crossing GameCube, and Isabel. And Isabel is like a bonus prompt. You're supposed to read one of the hostess choice and Tia's choice was the Tea Dragon Society because, and that's the one I chose because that's actually the only book that I own out of all of the host choices. So right here is where I'm going to put the books that I read, like I'm gonna print them out on a little printer and then glue them in here. So that's why there's all this open space right here, but it's from the 9th to the 20th, like I said. And I think I'll be able to do it. Maybe you guys can see it a little bit closer. I tried to use the stickers of what character was used for the prompt, but I didn't have a Rossetti sticker and I didn't have a Tom Nook sticker, but I had a KK Slider, Able Sisters, and Isabel. So for the Rossetti, the um, prompt is read any book while using a bookmark which is super easy to do because I use a bookmark in all my books. <laughs> I don't dog ear any pages. So I'm actually currently reading Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare because Chain of Gold came out and I still haven't read The Dark Artifices yet. So I wanted to go ahead and get started with it. I am currently not too far into the book. I'm on page 59, chapter three. And this is the bookmark that I am using. This was actually a bookmark that was hand drawn by one of my subscribers. And she actually made a couple different ones that are super cute. So I'll put the link, if it'll focus, I'll put the link for her shop down below. She makes really cute bookmarks. I'm really sorry if you can hear my dog being loud in the background. He really doesn't know how to be quiet when he's playing with the cat. So this is the book that I'm going to read while using a bookmark because I already am reading it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of this readathon because this is a thick book, but we'll see. And I'm also moving in like two weeks, so I feel like this readathon will be the last time I'll be actually reading this month, so I wanna read as much as possible. So the KK Slider prompt is listen to an audiobook or read a book with musical elements. I've been wanting to read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I heard that it is amazing and it does have a musical element to it. I believe it's about a girl who was in a band. And I heard that the audiobook is actually better than physically reading it so I'm gonna buy the audiobook for it and listen to it maybe while I'm packing for like moving and things like that so that will actually get like two because I'm listening to an audiobook and it has musical elements in it too so the able sisters is read a book with strong family themes I don't know if I even own a book that has strong family themes because I don't really care about that very much. A lot of books with strong family themes are very boring to me. So I don't have one written for that prompt yet because I don't have one. And then the Tom book prompt is read a book that you've recently purchased or checked out from the library. 
I haven't checked any out from the library. I want to say the recent, most recent purchase I have is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, but I can't read that yet. And Frankly in Love by David Yoon. I bought this from Barnes & Noble like a month ago. And I actually started reading it and I didn't keep reading it just because like time got away from me. So I may pick this up for that one. And then the Animal Crossing Gabe Cube prompt is read a book that's been on your TBR the longest or reread an old favorite. So I don't know which one I'm going to pick for that one yet. And then for the bonus prompt, like I said, I, I have the tea dragon society book um this was actually like an arc or whatever it came in a like fairy loot or an owl crate box like when this book first came out so it's like the pre printed version or whatever i don't know what they call it but it's super cute i've been wanting to read it my sister actually has read it she grabbed it off my bookshelf while i was moving and she like read the whole thing in like five minutes and she said it was like super cute so I've been wanting to read it because I love the artwork and I think it's adorable. So I'm definitely going to be finishing this book in the readathon. So I'm gonna go wash this hair dye out of my hair and then I'm just gonna start reading. I think I'm just gonna start with the Tea Dragon Society even though it's a bonus prompt just cause I've been wanting to read it and I feel like it'll be an easy read to get me into reading a little bit. And then I'm gonna start reading more of Lady Midnight because I've been enjoying it so far, so I want to keep reading a little bit into it. And I may go outside and read and sit on my porch because it's actually like 75 degrees outside right now. Do you see what they're all doing over here? What are they doing? They're like jumping on Twyla. Why are they like this? I don't, I don't understand. You guys on my reading channel, if you're not subscribed to my main channel, he probably looks so much bigger because he is so much bigger. He's a big boy. I don't even know if I showed him when I first got him, but... Yeah, he's huge now. Okay, I just finished the Tea Dragon Society and it was really cute. I really liked it, like a lot, and the art is phenomenal but the only complaint i have is that it's just so short like i felt like there was not really much of a story to even read because it was so short i literally read it in less than 10 minutes so i want to give it four stars because it was short but i feel like that's a stupid reason to take a star down because i did really enjoy it and i thought it was really cute like i couldn't enjoy it as much as i wanted to because it wasn't very long so i think i'm going to give it four stars but I do want to pick up the next one as long as it's not too expensive because I don't want to spend a lot of money on something that takes me less than 10 minutes to read. Yeah, I finished a book already for my readathon. <laughs> it was like 50 pages, but but I think Minetta, I mean, they're all super cute. I think that's how you say her name, the pink haired girl. Oh, Minette, sorry, her name's Minette. This is Minette. She's so freaking cute. I love her aesthetic. I think it's just because she has pink hair, but she's adorable and I love her. So the next book I'm going to get started with is Lady Midnight. And then I'm also going to go to the PO Box in the next hour. I have this like printer coming. Um, it hooks to your phone and it prints out pictures from your phone. And I'm going to use that to complete this bullet journal spread for the readathon Twyla. Okay, so I'll be going to the post office and showing you guys packages in about an hour or so, but I'm gonna pick up Lady Midnight now. So guys, today has been a really strange day, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know why. So I was going to the post office, right, which I didn't even show you guys my packages because all these things happened, and this little puppy ran out in front of my car, and I almost hit her, and I didn't, and I got her, and I have a puppy. <laughs> Another one. A little chi puppy. And it's just kind of funny to me because like I was just kind of like talking with my boyfriend the other day about how I wanted a chihuahua puppy. Kind of like not really actually going to get one, but I just was thinking about how cute it would be to have a Pomeranian puppy and a chihuahua puppy, you know? Just because I love chihuahuas and Pomeranians are my two favorite dog breeds. I've just always loved them. It's just my top breeds that I've always loved. And then this little one just ran out in front of my car. So I took her to my local animal hospital. She didn't have a microchip. She had fleas on her. She has a huge hernia and everything. Um, she's not super skinny or anything like that though, but I don't know if it's a permanent thing right now. It may just be like a foster situation, but her and Mochi absolutely love each other. Like from the second they saw each other, they were running around playing, having a great time. I gave her a bath, I gave her a flea bath. So all of her fleas are gone. Um, she's still chewing at her feet a lot though, which I have a chihuahua back home with my parents and chihuahuas chew their feet a lot, but they absolutely love each other. Mochi's a lot bigger than her. He likes to hump her. 
unfortunately. He is neutered, so I don't have to worry about like pregnancy or anything. From what I know, she looks to be about three or four months old, just from looking at her teeth. She's still a tiny puppy. Um, so I'm gonna take her to work with me tomorrow and get her vaccines, get her dewormed. Yeah, get all that stuff done for her, get some heartworm and flea and tick prevention. And then in a couple months, I'll get her spayed, get that hernia repaired. But the cats love her, as you can see. She loves the cats, like it's just, it's been great. It's kind of weird. Um, I wasn't expecting to have another dog. I wasn't expecting to have one dog in this apartment, but now I have two and everybody in my life can see how much I'm already in love with this dog and it's been a day. Even my dad was like, wow, you really love this dog. And all my coworkers were like, you need to keep her because she's just so sweet. She loves people. My sister came over and she loves her. My boyfriend's coming over in about an hour and I wanna see how she does with him. But so far she's just, she loves everybody. And I love chihuahuas and her ears. Yeah, that's just a little update for this um, readathon. This isn't even a puppy vlog, but I'm not gonna do a full video on this puppy on my main channel until I move into my new apartment. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate on my main channel for having another puppy. But unfortunately, it's not really something I asked for. I'm not gonna just leave a puppy like on the side of the road, you know? We'll see how life goes right now. I'm very happy, um, that's all that matters. So yeah, I haven't, I finished the Tea Dragon Society today and then I haven't read anything else. Um, I wanted to pick up Lady Midnight, but my boyfriend's gonna be here in a little bit so I know I won't be reading. <laughs> and I've just kind of been focusing on the puppy, so. So I just got home from work, right? It's March 13th. I have a package from one of you guys and then I also have my Nintendo Switch unboxing but i'm doing my animal crossing nintendo switch unboxing on my main channel so you guys can check that out there so i got a package from one of my subscribers her name is um cynthia i'm gonna cover her address but she asked me i guess she said that she can't wait to see my reaction so i'm gonna open the package from her on camera there's like a lot in here so it's from someone named cynthia she's one of my subscribers she's 26 years old and I got her started into reading more and doing Goodreads, so that's awesome. So she sent me a couple books. So the first one is The Curiosities by Susan Gloss. Sounds like it's a contemporary. Then we've got a bunch of bookmarks. A bunch of bookmarks. Then The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. Can y'all hear Mochi barking? He's in timeout because he's being a bad dog. Ooh, this is a uh, Chinese. Like the ethnicity is Chinese. You don't see that very often. Hmm. So that's actually a really pretty cover. Puzzled Word Search Volume 1, which I actually love word searches. And it's not used, so I will definitely use this. I do word searches all the time. And then there's something in a bag. Found this book for free in front of my local thrift store. Sadly, the cover is ripped off. Thought you might like it and I can and can give it a good home. Happy reading. Oh, it's The Great Gatsby. I actually read The Great Gatsby in eighth grade. We had to read it for school. Um, I didn't necessarily like the book as much as the movie. Um, I wouldn't read the book again, but it is nice, I mean, having it. So thank you so much, Cynthia, for sending me all of that. That is so nice of you. I will definitely be doing this word search for sure. I don't know if I'll get any reading done. These puppies... I wasn't mentally prepared to have another puppy. This puppy was not something that I prepared for because I didn't, I found it. I haven't been mentally prepared for a puppy and my mind is all over the place. So I've just been focusing on the puppies right now and I haven't been able to focus on anything else. Like I feel like I can't even take a shower because I can't focus on them, you know? I need some me time. My boyfriend's coming over in a couple hours, so he'll be able to watch them with me. Hey guys, it is March 14th. Um, I think I updated you guys yesterday. Uh, I still haven't done any reading yet. I'm planning on doing some tonight. I just have a really horrible migraine. I've had one for the past two days and I think it's just from the stress of everything right now. I wanted to show you guys my new thermal printer, um, the Fomimo. I always, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but they sent this to me to show you guys, but I was actually gonna buy myself one of these after seeing it on a Books with Chloe video. And then they contacted me like right before I was about to buy my own and they asked me if I wanted to try it out. So they sent me the printer itself and then they sent me some thermal paper. It says it can last two years and there's three rolls. They sent me the pink one, which is the one that I asked for. They had like blue, black, um, piano print. Like they had a bunch of different ones and I feel like it's not really focusing very well. There you go, you can kind of see it. So I haven't actually even opened this or tried it yet. So this is kind of like an unboxing. And I'm sorry I look so shitty. I have just 
been going through it. So we have, I guess, like the little charger cable. It's just like a USB. And then the printer itself, which is so freaking pretty. So here's what it looks like. It has the Fomemo logo on it. Then the side has where the print printer happens, the printing. Then we have the power button and I guess like where you can, yeah, open it up like this. And there's already a roll of paper in there. So that's awesome. And then the bottom is just plain. And then the back has the charging cable. So basically what this does is it hooks to your phone and it prints black and white pictures. It doesn't use ink. And then at the bottom right here, there's like a piece of paper in here and it has the instructions on it. So it tells you what all of the different colors of indication mean on the power button how to charge it, how to turn on the Bluetooth, and then the app is literally called Foam Memo. Just to charge it for the first time before using it, but hopefully it has some charge to it. I wanna use it right now. Here's the app right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And I guess it is connected. It says that it's connected in the app. So what I'm gonna do is for my bullet journal spread, I have that area where I am printing out the books that I have finished for the readathon and I have finished the Tea Dragon Society. So I'm going to try to print out a picture of the Tea Dragon Society and see if it works. Okay guys, I was able to figure out, I'm literally such an idiot and I had the paper in the printer turn the wrong way. That is why it wouldn't print, but I got it to print. I used the thick thickness and I made it about this size and it's sticker paper as well. So I'm gonna stick that in my journal, but I'm gonna show you guys the app. So here's what it looks like in the app and they actually have like templates and stuff that you can print it's like Happy Halloween, there's cats, there's ones that people make and stuff like that. There's also little schedules that you can print out. There's frames, just a lot of really cute stuff to do list. So I'm just going to print this out and show you guys how it works. So there's fine, medium, like normal and thick. Um, thick I really like to use. So I'm just going to press print, do medium or thick thickness and then print and it literally prints it out immediately and that's what it looks like so you can literally print anything out on this it's only black and white so like for this one it's only in black and white but that's totally okay so I'm gonna cut it and I love it so much so if you guys want to get one for your own I'll have a coupon for it down below hey everybody it's March 18th I know it's probably been a big gap since I last updated you guys. I have no idea when the last time I updated you guys was. But basically, I've been going through a lot this past week. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know most of it already. But since I was sick over the weekend, I was having some symptoms of the coronavirus. It lasted like a couple days and I'm fine now. But since that happened, I... I'm not allowed to come back to work and uh, the public health department told my boss I'm not allowed to come back to work until they test me for the coronavirus but no doctor will test me for the coronavirus because I'm not really having any symptoms of it and I'm fine. I haven't been working all week. I'm not going back until next week. Lee, I haven't been doing much. I haven't really felt like reading. I've really tried to read and I just can't read right now unfortunately considering I'm doing this readathon but I'm gonna try to pick up um, I actually want to read one, the first True Blood book um, because I'm actually watching, rewatching True Blood on the TV right now. So I kind of want to like compare them, see how alike they are and things like that. And then I'm also making cinnamon rolls. So I guess for my book that's been on my TBR for a long time for the readathon, the True Blood book will be for that one. And I can see if I can finish that maybe in the next couple days because I'm not going back to work till next week. But Animal Crossing comes out Friday, which is in two days. So once that comes out, reading will not be happening, but the readathon ends on the 20th anyway. So we'll see how that goes. Y'all will see some clips, I guess, of Animal Crossing. She always stares at me when I'm talking to myself because she's like, why the heck are you talking to yourself? Twilight. Why are you staring at me? Please stop staring at me. Yeah, I look like crap and everything. I have a really horrible migraine because I've given myself like stress migraines right now. And my apartment complex said that they did my walkthrough today while I wasn't home. But I never got a notification on my camera that they even showed up. So I don't even know what's going on right now. I just need answers from people and I'm not getting answers. And it's really frustrating. But my boyfriend's coming over tomorrow and he's going to spend the night for a couple nights because I've just been alone. <laughs> and I just need someone. Hey guys, it is the next day. 
So last night I got pretty far in the first True Blood book and I was actually watching the show at the same time as reading it and literally the show is the book. It's literally insane. Like I was reading the scenes happening in the book as it was happening in the show and it was crazy and it's actually making me enjoy the book a lot more because I'm like watching it and reading it at the same time. It's really cool. So right now I am on page 125. So far it's a five star read just because I'm really really enjoying it right now and it's just like the TV show and I love the TV show so this is one of the first books I've read that's like actually like the show which I really enjoy but I just went to the post office and I got Animal Crossing I actually got it a day early it's not even supposed to come out till tomorrow but it came a day early from Amazon so here's what it looks like I'm sure many of you guys have already seen it already and here's the inside so I don't know if much reading is going to be happening after now because I'm going to be playing this. My boyfriend is actually going to get us food right now so we're going to eat lunch and then I'm just going to probably play Animal Crossing and then I'm going to go get my dogs after my work closes because I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I explained this already but I'm like technically in like quarantine right now and I'm not welcome back to work until next week. I'm allowed to go get my dogs, it just has to be after they close so I'm going to go get my dogs today. And then also in the mail I got a 128 gigabyte um, micro SD card for my Switch and it actually has a little uh, toad on it, like a little mushroom. And then I also got a book outlet haul, um, just three little manga books, it's called the Bonic Hotel, I think that's how you say it. I think it's in a different language originally, but it's like a manga graphic novel and it looked really spooky and I had, I have tons of rewards on book outlets so I just picked them up. And then I also got two new dog harnesses, but I still don't think they're gonna fit. So this is for Dobby. This is the smallest one I could find. I may fit her like eventually, but it's still an extra small and it's still going to be completely huge on her. It will not fit her. And then I got this one for Mochi and I don't know if it's, and this one may be too small for him because he's, he's getting pretty big now. He may be more of like a medium sized dog now. It is 80 degrees outside right now. So I have the windows open. So you might be able to hear planes going outside, but I have the windows open. I'm watching True Blood right now and I'm about to play Animal Crossing and today's going to be a good day. So I'm going to wait for my boyfriend to get back and then I'm going to eat lunch and play Animal Crossing. I'm so excited. I do want to finish this book by today or tomorrow though. So I'm going to try my best to finish this by the end of the readathon so I can say at least finish two books of the readathon that I've been doing. So I'm sorry if this video has been kind of boring and all over the place. There's so much has happened in these past couple weeks that I like can't. Hey guys. So it is like way past the readathon. It's like the next week. It's March 24th. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this reading vlog here. I didn't even do much reading. I mean, I read one book and then, you know, I was in the middle of reading Dead Until Dark and then my dogs completely chewed up my book. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw the video of I came home and pieces of my book and something else was just all over the floor. Oh, and my hair's pink too. It was an accident, but I like it, so. But yeah, my book is absolutely destroyed. I cried. Um, none of the pages are ruined though. Like I can still finish the book, but I got to page 125 before the readathon ended. So I read about a book and a half. It ended. The front looks okay, but the back is just destroyed, which is really sad, but at least it wasn't a book that I like really, really, really care about. But I have been grinding Animal Crossing, so I'm gonna show you guys my island before the video is ended and then I'm also going to show you my ending of my bullet journal spread for the Animal Crossing readathon and then I'm gonna end this video here I'm sorry if it sucked I just didn't have much I wish they would stop squeaking. I just didn't have much time to do anything else because as you can see from all the boxes in the background, I'm also packing because I move on Saturday. So there's a lot that's been going on. I did my best, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my island real fast. Okay guys, I'm not gonna show you like my entire island right now, but I'm gonna show you the important bits. Okay, so here is my house. It um, It's just the first upgrade. Um, it has a purple roof. I chose a black I chose a black roof for the first one. I didn't like it as much, so I chose purple this time. And this is my little character. Um, she has some pink overalls on, some pink hair. I upgraded to the pink hair and the this hair. So I have some flowers planted beside my house and the workbench just so I don't have to walk all the way to Nook's tent to build something. And then over here, this is temporary, but I built some fruit trees. I'm gonna like maybe on the other side of the island make like an orchid. And then I planted some like fire, not planted, you know what I mean. I put some like fire places down. And then down here, I'm kind of making like a neighborhood. I got stuck. 
So here's where my villagers live. I don't like my villagers right now, so I'm not even going to show you them because I hate them. But the houses are cute, so I'm kind of just like lining it up kind of in like a neighborhood. And then that house was sold already um, from Christy. Christy's going to move in there. She's one of my favorite villagers. And then this one was sold apparently too, so they'll be moving in tomorrow. So I guess that's all the important stuff. I have the blue airport. Oh, oh cool. I can go to Harvey's Island. Oh, wow. I'm going to do that after I get off, but... Yeah, I built my museum. I have the shop and the museum over here. And then I recently just got a bridge built right here so I can go over. And then I have a ladder where I can go up the cliffs. So that's pretty much it right now. I'm going to be doing Animal Crossing live streams either on Twitch or on my main channel on YouTube. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in Animal Crossing. But that is my island right now. And then for my bullet journal spread, I went ahead and finished it for my Animal Crossing readathon. Still haven't finished a book today. But I used my Famimo printer to print out this picture that I took on my phone of the Animal Crossing game and then my animals are in the background and then here is where I kind of just filled everything out so I took some screenshots on my switch and I sent them to my phone and then I printed them from my Fomimo printer so this is me and Gabe playing Animal Crossing this is Gabe and his friends were playing Animal Crossing and then this is just a screenshot of my house which you guys just saw and then I printed out the Tea Dragon Society because that's the only book that I finished but that is my Animal Crossing spread all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this readathon even though I didn't do much reading it was kind of just like a weekly vlog but I don't know Know how soon I'm going to be uploading again on this channel it's gonna be after I move and everything I may record a video of me setting up my bookshelves in my new apartment but we'll see so I hope you guys enjoyed all my social medias down below if you guys would like to follow me see what I'm doing with my move and everything like that until then I will see you guys in my next video bye